a little tease on the uh, speakers I just built using the uh, Eminence drivers, compression loaded dome tweeter, and a 10 inch woofer. I'll give you all the specs and everything else in a future article. I just wanted to show you what's going on here before they uh, completely sealed up. This is simply a high pass filter, it's not a true crossover. And it allows me to cross over at 1800 hertz or 2500 hertz. It allows me to set the attenuation at 6 dB or 9 dB. And then it has what's called bright on and off, which is simply high frequency attenuation. So it'll be interesting to play with this. I'm going to hook up uh, simple switches on all of these um, little connections which allow me to simply flip a switch to hear the difference and measure the difference. Uh, the drivers, or the main driver, was inset into the front baffle by uh, almost a half inch. So when you do that, and you're only using three quarter inch material, it doesn't leave an awful lot for the screws to hold that woofer in. So I had to go with a another baffle, a second baffle on the back of the first one. Um, and as you can see, this baffle was, it actually was the test baffle for my router jig. So all I did was reverse it and use it here, and that gave me a full, almost a, nearly an inch to um, screw into, which is real solid. Uh, everything was filled and lined and uh, sealed with um, Actually, I used um, construction adhesive because I happen to have a whole bunch of it. So I used that to seal everything up. Now this cabinet for testing, I want to try it without the backs on it first. So I just mounted these um, bana this banana plug jack here. I'm trying to get in focus. And uh, this banana plug jack just gives me an opportunity to plug it in real easily. And you can see I also have connections on the tweeter itself, so I can disconnect the tweeter and I can run a true crossover network, which I also have, uh, I got a couple that I built that I might try as we uh, start measuring this thing. The other issue I have with this is according to the plans and according to the program to design a loudspeaker cabinet, this cabinet's a little too big. I'm probably going to have to put a septum in it somewhere down here towards the bottom and uh, cut out some of the cubic space. I wanted it to look a particular way, and they do look pretty cool, and they're the right height. They're about 35 inches high. They're about 12 inches wide and 10 inches deep, but um, a little bit too big for this driver. So we'll see how that all works out, but I'm probably going to have to add a septum into it. Um, I sure wish the paint job had come out better. It didn't. Um, the oak plywood that I bought from Home Depot it was real crap. This thing looks like regular plywood, doesn't look like nice oak cabinet grade plywood. It didn't finish very well either. And to kill the edges, I just simply added a three quarter by three quarter inch piece of oak and then I rounded it over with a router just to get rid of the edge. Well, anyways, uh, this is just a tease. There'll be an old lot more to come on my website, www rvbprecision.com Roger Victor Bravo Precision.com I'll do a whole write-up on these speakers and let you know what's going on with them as we go through the amount of testing that I plan on doing, an awful lot of testing to see how they all uh, how they work out. It's just fun playing with this stuff.